Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to go over multi-frame editing. This is a super useful tool that allows you to save a lot of time. So yeah, I have a simple animation here of a ghost jumping up and down for his birthday, and I want to make him a little fatter. Now I could go through and animate each one of these frames or duplicate the frames, but that'll take a lot of time. And this is where the multi-frame editing tool comes into hand. So all you have to do is, let me pause this, so you can simply select the keyframes that you want to affect. In this case, I want all of them, but if you just wanted to, that would make more sense, or that would make sense. Then you're gonna come up here and you're gonna select multi-frame. So I, I'm in sculpt mode right now, but this works in edit and draw mode as well. And as you can see, there's like an onion skin that forms here. This is a little different than a normal onion skin because I'm going to show you. So I'm going to scale up my brush and I'm going to go ahead and edit my ghost. I'm going to make him fatter. All right. As you can see, it's not just editing one frame, it's editing multiple frames. It's editing the frame underneath or behind and the frame ahead. So this is super useful because now I don't have to keep jumping in between frames. They're all edited. When you're done, uh, unclick it, the multi-frame, and then check your animation. So we'll play back and yeah. So he looks now a little lopsided, but I think you get the point. It saves a lot of time and it's a super useful tool. If you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like comment and subscribe and let me see your creations. I'll see you guys in the next video and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.